On my way heading south from Longnan, just before the border crossing into Guangdong, I came upon some beautiful, strange-looking mountains in the distance. As I got closer, I found there was a trailhead and a little visitor area. So I decided to pause my ride a little early and investigate. To be honest, I was having a pretty uneventful, a lazy feeling day. I didn't feel like riding very much. And I knew that the next stop was gonna be quite a distance away. And then I passed by Udong, which is a city I'm currently in. And I was told that yeah, there may be a hotel here, but I really didn't want to stop because I had my destination set in my head was much farther away. But then I saw the mountain and it looked awesome. So I said, let's go to the mountain instead. So uh, I decided to stop, found a shopkeeper that uh, had some space I could put the trike. So it's safe. And now I'm scaling Wudong, which is pretty awesome. Hopefully I can get up there by sunset and get some really nice pictures. And then hopefully I don't have any trouble coming down. Wudong, here I come. under the mountain. There's a little cut here, and I think above me right now, I'm doing my part, holding up the mountain. Don't come down on me, please. And no, I'm not wearing tap shoes. I'm wearing my bike shoes. I forgot to change my shoes. Wow, that's narrow and vertical. I was thinking to myself like, this place needs more tourists. You know, there's not a lot of hotels, there's no place to stay. It's just a stop along the way, but damn, it's, it's pretty amazing, you know? Wow, look at that. Look at that, I'm gonna be on that bridge soon. But then I was thinking, well, that just makes the people that discover it all that more lucky. Why the hell do you wanna fill this place full of tourists? Speaking of tourists, <laughs> echo. So, sometimes it's nice that these places stay a little untouched. So they're a little bit more special to the people that take that extra step to investigate it, even though it's not a big step. I know I'm gonna kill my battery on this. I know it. You know, it's kind of a good thing that you run out of battery. It means there was a lot of stuff that looked cool enough to take a photo of. But it also means that you're gonna miss that beautiful peak view because you used up all your, all your battery going up. Damn it, Bat. If I told you once, I've told you a hundred times. I always like to play jokes with Chinese people because as a foreigner here, you constantly hear the word Lao Wai. It's not a derogatory term, but it's kind of slang for foreigner. And you will walk around and you'll hear them say, Lao Wai, Lao Wai, Lao Wai. So most of the time, if, if it, the moment is opportune, I'll say Lao Wai. Tsainaya is where? Where's the Laowai? They, they n never understand what I'm trying to get at, the humor. You know, kind of, I'm trying to draw the attention away from myself by saying I'm not a foreigner, like a Chinese person would do. 
but they never seem to understand and it always gets lost in confusion and sometimes they even take offense I think that last guy thought I was teasing him but I wasn't I was just sorry I just bicycled like 70 kilometers and now I'm climbing so I'm a little tired anyways he didn't understand I had to try to explain myself it ended up in a stalemate and they said if I come back down we'll drink beer together good Andy well Bush Lawai then I'll say Nisha Lawai wash the jungle you're a foreigner I'm the Chinese they never get that either well I don't know to whose benefit probably mine that the bridge is closed that is the bridge that you can see from the street god I wish I could stand on it looks sturdy you want me to try you want me to just try and go nah no no thoroughfare thoroughf air this must be the the walk that I saw uh, uh, from the street the uh, the road that kind of skims along the side of this mountain it's always hard to get perspective you know but beyond that wall it literally curves in inward it's less it's it's less than a uh, than a than a cliff edge and that road was where I was sitting just before taking a picture wow beautiful <laughs> can you see that perspective that's sheer that is sheer sometimes I think it's a pain to have all these cameras I'm trying to grab Instagram pics on my iPhone and then I have my GoPro that's you know useful in certain cases and this is my baby camera you know but how are you gonna capture moments like this if you don't have the best thing you can have you know otherwise you just can't get it even even what you what you're looking at here is not even close to what what I'm seeing through my eyes I'm just trying to do nature justice as much as I can you know <sighs> nature and also human engineering I mean if I was sitting somewhere 200 years ago I wouldn't look up at this place and say you know what I'm gonna start building a road up here <laughs> it's funny the rock that makes up this mountain looks kind of like it's roughly poured concrete you know in its rough form and I wouldn't put past the Chinese they're pretty smart they could probably figure out how to build a mountain uh, but no no I saw it's like some sort of porous granite rock that has er eroded over time but it sure looks like uh, rough concrete I'm really glad I came here I was feeling a little bit down the ride was going slower than I thought I was getting tired and the distance the mountains just kept coming up in front of me I was just trying to press on my first idea was to press on as late as I could into the night but this place popped up and I took a took a little detour and uh, and I'm better for it I feel a little adventure rejuvenated so now uh, tomorrow I can get back in the road and uh, plow through this thing I swear I sound like I'm tap dancing how do I know that because I once tap danced there is a picture of me out there in red sequins from head to toe with a little like uh, this ugly hat <laughs> see if you can find it so I was walking up 
actually walking down the mountain and, and I saw these guys twice already. <laughs> and uh, and I was about to walk down the same way I came up and he said, no, 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 you gotta go down this way. <laughs> so uh, so we were walking together and uh, having a great conversation. And uh, yeah, yeah. It's strange when you meet people and they help uh, enhance your trip, you know? What's <laughs> that? <laughs> I speak so bad. Say <laughs> okay, so we are going to stay here tonight. We being me and the trike and my tent for the first time. I've opened it up. Hello. It's so great. Yeah. And this guy, who's my who's my buddy, Tasha Wada Penyo. Tasha Wada Tsuiha de Penyo. I hope these guys won't be annoying at night. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, sitting here with these guys is really nice because you start to see um, like the way that people live like naturally. These guys are the the workers that, that cater to the people that visit this mountain. And I'll tell you what, they told me something really interesting. I am the first foreigner to go on this mountain that they have ever seen. <laughs> That's very cool. What do you need to tell Here, here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I can feel the hair growing right now. Oh, it's very nice. Okay, so uh, they said it's too cold outside. It's better to sleep inside, so they let me pull my tent into the, uh, the store. <laughs> so my tent and my bike is safe, and uh, I could think of much worse places to sleep tonight. They even, uh, you know, will provide me hot water tomorrow so I can have my Starbucks coffee, because I have some Starbucks packets, and I don't have to worry about freezing too much tomorrow. Cool. Okay, so before I turn the lights on, this is my, uh, my humble abode. I have a little solar powered light that is actually pretty bright to keep me company. Um, and uh, I think it's gonna be nice. Actually, it's a little warm. Might be too warm. It's only 8.40, but, uh, you know, these places. Uh, when the sun goes down, that's when it's time to go to bed. Cool. Wan an in Chinese. Wan an means good night. So, wan an. This is just a little test to see how good this light is. And uh, I think it's pretty good. 
I don't know if it's supposed to go this way or, oh, that way is much brighter. Anyways, good night. Okay, so uh, I had a pretty good night. I slept okay. It was actually really, really warm in there. <laughs> Too warm. But outside it's, it's really, really crisp and cool. I'm gonna try and get going pretty quick here. Maybe have a cup of coffee and then roll out. I feel like it's camping. It's nice. And uh, I had some companions I was sleeping with, which were a little spooky when I see who they are in the morning. One of them's a spider, it's about this big. But uh, I'm gonna pack up as quick as I can and get back on the road. So as I prepared to continue on from my first camping experience and all the creepy crawlies that entailed, I felt renewed and excited about getting back on the road, ready to leave Jiangxi province and cross into Guangdong. Well, again, he got mingled. <laughs>